Hello and welcome to the TW Steel D-Max Heavy Enduro Championship for 2016. We're here at Wilton Milt and we're using the Zulu format this time, which means there's some changes to the circuit, one of them being up at Turn 5. Now, Turn 5 on the international layout is just a flat-out right-hander, but now it turns into pretty much a hairpin, so it's going to become one of the major overtaking opportunity here today. So we're expecting lots of overtaking here throughout the uh, Heavy Enduro race. Now, Chris Carter, after three wins in as many rounds, leads the championship. He may not have won for a couple of rounds, but he still has a comfortable lead over Tom Zalstovich, who needs to start taking some points away from him, starting at Wilton Mill today. Let's head down to the grid then and see what the drivers have to say before the start of the race. It's tough. Uh, well, tough. Hands going already, so um, I'm not looking forward to this. Were you fourth? Uh, fifth. You're fifth on the grid? Yeah. So, we'll you see. We'll be happy enough if I stay around there. I'm tenth. Well, I was. Uh, I've never been here, so uh, just qualifying as I was learning the track. So it's the lowest I've been for a while, actually, tenth. So at least I can only go forward from there <laughs> or back. I might finish 14th. You never know. But <laughs> the lads said um, they were sticking with me when I was on my own. I don't think I'm great putting a lap time in on my own, but um, I slotted in behind Tomek and um, managed to pull one fast lap out. So. Uh, might be a different thing in the race. <laughs> Heavy Enduro are out on circuit then for their warm-up lap and the grid is as follows. Chris Carter is on pole position. He set a time of 42.857. That was good enough for pole position. Alongside him is Chris Dean. And then on the inside of row two, we have Adam Nakar. Alongside Adam Nakar is Tom Zastovich. Row three is Adam Daly and the first of four super heavy drivers, Rob Moore. An impressive performance from him in qualifying. Let's see if he can repeat that in the hours race. We have ahead of us Stuart Foster and Jamie Pender on row four. Blaise Sienko and Gareth Holt are row five. Tommaso Amendola and uh, Adrian Wisniewski are on row six. And then on row seven is Dan Bedford and Gary Martin. Right then, an hour's race ahead of us. It's our championship leader, Chris Carter, on pole position. Alongside him is Chris Dean, coming over from Club 100. Let's see how he gets on. Do we get away first time? And it's a great start from Chris Carter, a fantastic start. In fact, he leads through turn one and two. Going with him in second, I think may have been uh, Adam Nakar. They head up towards turn three for the first time. Do we get all... 14 drivers through safely. Yes, oh no, well we had a couple of us, a one spinner towards the back of the field. Couldn't quite see who that was, but we'll be able to confirm who that was when they crossed the line. Zalstovich is certainly in fourth place. They head up towards the boot for the first time. Chris Carter at this stage has a comfortable lead for a first lap anyway. Let's see what he can do throughout the race. He led by two and a half tenths in qualifying. Will anyone be able to close that gap in this race? Through his turns one and two, it's Carter from Dean, Nakar and Zalstovich. Then it's Daly, Moore, Foster, Pender. Sienko is ninth, Holt is tenth. Tommaso Amandola, unfortunately, was the driver that spun up at turn three. But apart from that, no major changes in the race. Oh, and we have a move up at turn five. That was for sixth place. So I think that was uh, Stuart Foster going past uh, Rob Moore. As there's a warning for the number 109 already, and that's Gareth Holt. But Rob Moore defends, and Jamie Pender, not the race he would have been expecting after his performance at Milton Keynes. But he's going to try another move, and it's going to be in towards the boot. And there goes Pender, finally makes the move stick. That's seventh place. Next up the road is going to be Stuart Foster. Up ahead, Chris Dean runs wide, and he's going to lose second place. So Chris Dean making a mistake and pays the price for it as Adam Nakar goes through to second. Tom Zastovich there in third, can't take advantage. And in fifth place, Adam Daly is catching a lot of them. They go through the boot now for the ninth time. Oh, and running wide is Nakar. Dean goes back through to second place. So Dean through to second and Zastovich goes through to third. Brilliant driving from Zastovich. Saw a gap on the inside going through the last corner and was able to take advantage of it. And Zastovich now getting closer to his championship rival, Chris Carter. Jamie Pender up to sixth place as well. 
As an up ahead, oh, and it looks like Zelstovic is going to drop a place, maybe even two. Looks like he's down to fifth place now with uh, Adam Daly starting to move forward. He's gone through to fourth place. Daly in the number 138. The battling behind is allowing Chris Carter and Chris Dean to escape up the road with Chris Carter. 1.2 seconds clear of Chris Dean. This is lap number 11 that they're just starting now. And Jamie Pender all of a sudden finds himself right behind Zastovich as he sets another fastest lap, does Pender. We're only seven and a half minutes into the races up ahead. There was an attempt from uh, Adam Daly there to pass Adam Nakar. It didn't work. And now he's having to defend from Zastovich, who's coming under attack from Jamie Pender as well. Stuart Foster is there in seventh place. He is up there, and unsurprisingly, there's going to be a warning flag from Adam Daly because it was uh, he tried to pass uh, Nakar at turn three. There was certain side-by-side -side contact, and uh, now the warning flag goes out straight away to. Race leader Chris Carter, all in a move from Zalstovich there in the second part of the boot. Went up the inside of Adam Daly. That caught me by surprise, let alone Adam Daly. And Jamie Pender goes through to fifth. Warning flag still out for the number 138 of Adam Daly, who uh, has just dropped back to sixth place with uh, Zalstovich and Pender going through. It was a uh, a late attempt from Zastovich, but it worked. And now he's going to lose a place, is Zastovich. Jamie Pender goes through at turn five. The number 108 now up to fourth place. As behind, Stuart Foster has gone past Adam Daly for sixth. A line off there. But as we go on to lap number 24, is this Adam Daly's opportunity to take sixth place away from Stuart Foster? They head up towards turn three. Can he get the run on him? There he goes up the inside, and it's been a long time coming, but Adam Daly finally makes a move on Stuart Foster, and that's a change for sixth place, but Stuart Foster doesn't like it, and comes straight back at him. So Stuart Foster in the number 134, back into sixth place, Adam Daly back down to seventh, and Rob Moore in uh, eighth place there, getting closer to the pair of them. He's just done a new personal best. He's done a 43.064. That's the kind of times we've been seeing from Chris Carter as there's another move from Adam Daly. He goes back to sixth place, but Stuart Foster's going to try again into turn one. Can't quite get through, and uh, Adam Daly has finally been able to get past. 25 minutes remaining then. Chris Carter goes across the line to start lap number 49. Jamie Pender is now, well, Jamie Pender is now third. Adam Nakar is back to second and I wonder if that was due to some traffic as Pender now tries to go back up the inside up at turn three can he make the move stick Jamie Pender back through so Pender back through to second he's gonna have to defend into turn five and does Pender going slightly defensive in turn five he's done that on a few occasions now and it delays him all the way through the Zulus and it allows Adam Nakar to close up onto the back straight as they head up towards the boot. One and a half minutes remaining. Pender runs wide in the first part of the boot. That could open up an opportunity for Nakar into the last corner and Pender covers it off, defends. Now Pender runs wide out the last corner. Through turns one and two they go. Through the Zulus, here comes Pender and Nakar. There goes Chris Carter. There's the last lap board. So Nakar, now only a lap and two corners to go, needs to try and at least attempt to move on Jamie Pender. Jamie Pender at the moment has a gap of around four tenths of a second. You can see Adam Nakar really struggling to hold on now, leaning out the seat. That's a sign to me that he's run out of steam and it looks like Jamie Pender's gonna be able to hold on Bar a mistake. Well, Chris Carter's only got one corner to go. He's driven an absolutely fantastic race from pole position. He leads by over 16 seconds and takes his time to come up towards the line and celebrates in style. Chris Carter takes victory at round six of the Heavy Enduro Championship to further extend his championship lead. Second place is going to go to Jamie Pender.
who crosses the line now with Adam Nakart rounding out the podium. Fourth place goes to Christine. It's been a bit of an off day in terms of the endurance for uh, Tom Zastovich. Fifth place for him. Rob Moore, he takes victory in the super heavy class and uh, takes sixth place overall. Stuart Foster is seventh, then it's Tommaso Amandola, Gary Martin and Blaise Sienko round up the top 10. Eleventh is Adam Daly. We lost, unfortunately, Dan Bedford, Adrian Wisniewski and Gareth Holt. Adam, so close to getting second there, but looked like you just maybe ran out of steam towards the end. Just talk us through the, the last few minutes of the race. My neck went simple as that. I couldn't see right, going around right corners, unable to see. Had it before here, two months out, three months out. In fact, that's what happens. But it was a good race. I thought Jamie would catch us up. I told him we'd take about 10 minutes. He Steve took 30, Bays. but never mind. So, uh, but apart from that, it was a good race. Bays. Well, well done nice on a solid podium. Section. Let's Other go over to uh, now, Jamie. Start your way into the pit lane, so, please. Jamie, oh, not the best at qualifying by your standards, time, but you uh, recovered really well in the race. Well, what kind of change? Nah, just grit the old teeth and go for it. I had a cart change as well, it probably helped, but yeah, no, just wanted it. Well done, well done on second. And Chris, you made that look easy. Yeah, enjoyed it, uh, considering I didn't want to drive the Zulu layout they, they've lowered the curb since the last uh, race tip it was a really nice car um, we can all drive at the end of the day you need the equipment um, enjoyed it yeah really pleased with a win had a not a sort of barren spell but haven't had a win for a few rounds so um, all looking good for the championship again well thanks for watching the racing today to book your place on the grid visit our website or call this number <laughs>